Hi, it's Bill with Molly Aftermarket Inc., also Bill with Clevite. I'm here today to talk to you about bearing lubrication. This is the second in our three-part series about bearings. Uh, last week we talked about bearing failures and bearing distress. Now we're going to talk about lubrication. You know, a bearing will last forever as long as it's riding on a film of clean oil in an engine. It's amazing, but we have engines today that run uh, gasoline engines that run 200, 250,000 miles or more on the original bearings. We have diesel engines approaching a million miles, but the key in all those cases is clean oil and an adequate film of oil. So we have to have that film of oil between the crankshaft and the bearing. If that film disappears, we have almost instantaneous failure. So it's that simple. We need good clean oil and a film of oil between the bearing and the crankshaft. Now again, sounds real simple, but what happens, especially in performance engines, is the higher the horsepower, the more power we generate, the more pressure we're applying to the top of the piston, which puts that pressure onto the bearings. Here's a rod bearing, so pressure comes down, pushes this bearing down really hard against the crankshaft, has a tendency to take that oil film and squeeze it out, make it really thin. And if that oil film actually gets to the point where it's thinner than the roughness of the crankshaft, the surface of the crank will actually protrude through the film and it'll start to scour away the bearing and just wear it away like you were using a scouring pad on it. So it becomes quite an issue. Now, a few pointers here to point out for you. One is bearing clearance, and we've talked about that in previous videos, but by and large, rule of thumb is the tighter the clearance, the better. Our rule of thumb, by the way, is a thousandth per inch of shaft diameter. If it's a performance engine, add an extra half, half thousandths for good measure. But the th tighter the clearance, the better, because that spreads the oil film out over a broader area and makes the pound per square inch load spread out over a broader area. When we let the clearance get real loose, then we're putting all the pressure on a fine, small patch of oil, and we tend to break through that film of oil and have problems. So again, rule of thumb, tighter the clearance, the better. Thousands per inch of shaft diameter, add an extra ha half thousandths for a performance engine. Now finally, I want to talk to you about oils. Rule of thumb there is buy the best oil that you can possibly afford, maybe even a little better than you can afford. You can't hardly get too good of oil. So always try to buy the best oil you can afford. Also remember the other rule of thumb that goes with clearance is the tighter the clearance, the thinner the oil. The looser the clearance, the thicker the oil. Okay. Make sense? Hope so. Next week we're going to talk about bearing coatings and we have a lot to share with you there. Thanks for tuning in.